guys a very happy valentine's day to all of you today is the most romantic day of the year i absolutely love this day because it's so full of love you know but by no means it celebrates the love only between a girl and a boy or a husband and a wife it celebrates all kinds of love love between parents and their children love between brothers and sisters love between two friends even the love between you and your pet so you know for me people have their own choices to express their loves but for me the best way is to do something on your own you know rather than just buying something from outside so why not you express your love for your family by baking a perfect valentine's day dessert red velvet cupcakes with cream cheese frosting let's start cooking to start baking first thing i need to do is preheat my oven at 180 degree c and then prepare my baking tray i just need to line it with my cupcake liners So this is done. Now I have all my ingredients nicely measured up here so that I don't go hassled up while my baking. So let's start. First, I'll cream my butter. I'll cream it or keep on beating it. till it becomes really nice and shiny in texture and also a little fluffy and smooth in its consistency so my butter is nicely creamed up here i'm just going to add my caster sugar in parts i'm going to uh, cream it or beat it till it's nicely incorporated in my butter rest of the sugar As you can see that my sh all sugar is nicely incorporated in my butter and it has become a nice and smooth mixture. I'm just going to add my egg in it. And start beating again. As you add the egg, you will see that the mixture starts to split. But don't worry, just keep on beating. eventually it will come along now my sugar butter and egg has formed a very smooth batter so i'm just going to keep it aside and prepare my dry ingredients i'm just going to add a teaspoon of cocoa powder to my flour this is all purpose flour i'm using and a teaspoon of baking powder Now I'm just going to mix it properly and add to my egg batter. Now I'm not going to beat it. I'm just going to fold it everything together till it forms a smooth batter again. So this batter is ready. I'm going to now give it a nice color. I have here some buttermilk. I'm just going to add a teaspoon of vanilla essence to it and also half a teaspoon of red color. The color reacts with the buttermilk and gives it a very nice crumbly texture to the red velvet cupcakes. Now I'm just going to add my coloring to my batter and fold it in. So this looks done here. Now you know that the red velvet cupcake is the king of all the cupcakes because it's superb in flavor and so soft and crumbly to eat, you know. So the crumbliness is provided by basically the buttermilk we used, but to make it more soft and light, we are going to add just 
half teaspoon of vinegar and half teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda. Now, as soon as I add this bicarbonate of soda to my vinegar, it's going to fizz out. Now, I'm just going to add this vinegar and bicarbonate of soda mixture to my batter and fold it in. Now, I'm just going to spoon in my mixture to my cupcake liners. Just going to fill it around two thirds full. So, my cupcakes are ready to go into the oven. Now, they need to be inside the oven for around 15 to 20 minutes. Meanwhile, let's start preparing our cream cheese frosting. To prepare my cream cheese icing, I'm just going to beat butter and cream cheese together. Till they become a nice and smooth mixture. Now this has become a really shiny and smooth mixture which is the perfect for the icing. And now I'm going to add my icing sugar. And just keep on beating it to prepare a nice icing. Really, the patience is the virtue. Because you have to give it some time. You have to keep on beating it, beating it for a long time till it really becomes, you know, nice and pale in color. As you can see that my icing has reached to its perfect consistency. Just by beating it, beating it, beating it. Now it's ready to go into the piping bag. I'm using a nylon piping bag. For my perfect classic sword, I will be using a seven point open star nozzle. Now, there are other type of nozzles too, like a closed star nozzle. This is the best for a classic rose kind of sword and the other kind of classic sword nozzle is the round nozzle, 12 millimeter round nozzle, which is the best for a round bobble kind of sword on, on top of your cupcake. So let's check on our cupcakes. Wow, they are looking good here. Now, to check whether they are done or not, I just need to insert a skewer at the middle of my cupcake and the skewer should come out clean. See? This means that my cupcakes are completely done. Now, for the bitter truth, they need to completely cool down before I can top it with my nice icing. For my cupcakes to get cooled down properly, I'm just going to place them on my cooling rack. While the cupcakes are getting cooled down properly, let's prepare our piping bag. First, I'm just going to pop this nozzle inside the bag. Just take it out like this and then I'm going to fold it like this and just put the icing inside. Now I'm ready to top my cupcakes with my delicious cream cheese icing. I'm going to make a classic swirl for that. I need to hold my piping bag straight on top of it. Now I'm going to give it a good squeeze and then just two, two and three, same way. Now to make them look more perfect, I'm going to top them with a strawberry. Beautiful, 
so gorgeous. What can be better than this for a perfect Valentine's Day dessert?